Hello, everyone. This is Seth Bloom from Bloom Legal, live here in New Orleans. Uh, it's another video uh, we have coming out today during COVID, so we're all working from home. Lauren, why don't you say hello to everyone uh, and talk about your quarantine, what's going on with you? Hello, everyone. It's Lauren Boudreau here. Um, quarantine is, I'm sure, the same for me as it is for most of everyone, you know, trying to do as much work from the home as possible. Um, trying to stretch my legs here and there by you know not going insane being stuck in the house um, but just trying to answer as many emails and calls as possible because there are a lot of questions from people of not knowing what to do or, or what the procedure is right now for court right and that's and that's one thing is you know courts haven't been open since we did our, our last video a few weeks ago uh, we're hearing dates around May 20th but I think one thing we wanted to talk about today was, you know, what happens if you get arrested during COVID? What will you get arrested for? Um, have they changed the laws or kind of uh, the policing culture during this time? You certainly don't want to be in a New Orleans jail or Jefferson Parish jail, any jail, any Louisiana jail, in the middle of a pandemic. Because, you know, we hear, Lauren, how many times have we heard, you know, they don't give us our medicine or they're not treating us that great? Imagine you know, and these aren't, this isn't the fault of the sheriff, but they have limited resources too, but I wouldn't want to be in there at all. But especially, you know, this is going to create a lot of problems for people going in during COVID. Right. Because we're hearing that the screening process wasn't, um, the medical screening process wasn't really the, uh, I guess, best you could say before COVID. So now with COVID, um, you know, we're hearing that the screening process is even worse. And so, and the options are what? To put people in solitary confinement so that they're not in contact with each other, but that's not seeming to happen. And so it's just a mess. I think one thing that the police have done, the city, it's kind of come down from the mayor and city council. Uh, and this has been happening over the years is arresting people less when people are breaking the law to give them subpoenas, uh, excuse me, summons or subpoenas to court. Uh, instead of actually physically arresting them. So I think more and more that's what's happening. Um, and they have listened. Talk, a little, yeah, talk a little bit about what a summons is and what's the difference. What might happen if this was a regular Friday afternoon like it is today? What would happen today getting stopped with, you know, drinking in public versus uh, a couple of months ago? Well, so the there is the discretion of the police officers for certain offenses to give someone a citation, a summons to appear in court rather than arrest. Um, but we see that during non-COVID times that we were having people being arrested and then they would have to go and wait for the next um, scheduled first appearance. And so um, depending on the day of the week, if it was a weekend or a holiday, they have certain schedules um, either twice a day or three times a day. But if you got arrested, you would have to sit in jail and wait for the judge to set your bond. Um, now we're seeing as many people getting citations or, um, and summons a, a court date so that they do not have to be booked and processed in the jail and receive a bond. Um, people, and it's also one point, Lauren, is people need to understand that just because you've gotten the courtesy of an officer writing you a summons doesn't mean it's less severe than if they took you down to the station and booked you. Because uh, they can write you a summons for a number of things that are all, you know, pretty strong misdemeanors. Right. So yes, it's a in, so instead of arresting, they give you the summons, but it's the same same thing. It's the same uh, charge with the consequences, the sentence, you know, being the same whether they arrested you or gave you the citation. If you're later found guilty of it, um, it's my understanding that there was a part of the Supreme Court order that has lessened um, what judges are give them more um, I guess leniency on what they can give ROR's or release on their own, own recognizance. Um, certain offenses were more strict as far as like um, burglaries and, 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 and just to the, and what an ROR is is when a judge releases someone without a bond or a free bond versus let because even if they said a low bond, a lot of people can't make a low bond. Or if you can make the bond, it's still then you're having to go down there and post a bond or use a bail bondsman. So this is trying to keep less people in jail. Right. So yeah, giving the judges the ability to release people without them having to post a bond on more offenses than they were um, allowed under the law um, with these leniencies under COVID. But overall, you never want to be arrested. Uh, right. COVID is creating a number of additional problems to already getting in trouble with the criminal justice system. So if you're having a problem during this time, you're arrested, there's a warrant out, Call us, 504-599-9997. We're here in New Orleans. We're all around. We're here to help. 
Uh, give us a call. Check out bloomlegal.com. Thank you so much and stay safe.